simply the processes by which an animal proceeds from fertilized egg through adulthood right and eventually leading to the death what does it means development is simply the processes different processes as it includes the formation of the cells right then the uh, divisions of the cells then uh, formation of further divisions leads to the formation of the tissues and then organs and organs uh, become mature and forms in adult right so that's why we said that processes by which an animal proceeds from a fertilized egg through adulthood and in, eventually it will lead to the death now the stages of the development or uh, how this whole process of development happens it includes the gamete formation obviously the formation of the cells male and female cells fertilization cleavage gestation organogenesis and growth now let's see what these uh, steps or stages are gamete formation gamete formation is simply the formation of ova which means female cells and sperms which means the male cells you have studied the chapter reproduction right so you are familiar with all these terms now so the formation of the ova the female cells and uh, sperms the male cells and maturation of the ova in the female reproductive organs and maturation of the sperms into the male reproductive organs is uh, called as gamete formation right fertilization simply the fusion of the male and female uh, gametes which means fusion of ova and sperm and uh, during this fusion what happens the nucleus of the sperm it is fuses uh with the ovum and because of this fusion what happens the sperm and ovum nuclei will fuse to form a single diploid nucleus right as the male and female cells are formed and they are fertilized also so after the fertilization cleavage will start cleavage is simply the division cleavage means division right so uh, it will include series of mitotic cell divisions and as a result of these cell divisions what will happen different daughter cells will be formed and these diff uh, different daughter cells will receive different regions of ovum's cytoplasm now as the division uh, has been started uh, or the mitotic cell division has been started so it will continue so the cell divisions or and including cell division cell migrations will also occur and cell rearrangements will also occur in the this process which is called as gastrulation and because of the rearrangement of the cells um, two or three primary tissues or germinal layers are formed right we will discuss all of these uh, steps uh, in detail in further slides so don't worry about it organogenesis as it name shows it is the formations of uh, formation of organs so uh, the these uh, cells which are further divided migrated rearranged these uh, sub population of the cells will be sculpted into specialized tissues and organs and obviously when an organ is formed this uh, organ will increase in size or and to attain the maturity remember that the steps involved in development which we have just discussed in this slide are irreversible when the gamete formation happen then the fertilization will occur and it cannot be reversible after fertilization it cannot uh, reverse back to the ova or sperm cells remember that so all the steps involved in the development are irreversible it is very important point kindly remember that Uh, including this uh, they always remember that the um, steps which are involved in development they always occur in an ordered sequence right which means always the first step will be gamete formation the second will be fertilization then cleavage will uh, occur then gestation organogenesis and then growth right to understand the development process of development uh, in in your book the example has been taken of a, a hen's egg or chick 
how the chick develops from the egg. Hence, egg is polylacetal uh, in type. What does it mean? Poly polylacetal means it have a huge amount or large amount of yolk in it. The egg of uh, the hen is released as secondary oocyte from the ovary. I hope you remember the process of uh, um, oogenesis, formation of the oocytes, in which we have discussed the first primary oocyte will be formed, then secondary oocytes, right? And then uh, they will uh, further divide and form the polar bodies and so on. So the egg of the hen is released as secondary oocyte from the ovary. Remember that. And it is uh, about 3 cm in diameter normally. The protoplasm of this egg is restricted to very small area which is called as blastodisc or the germinal disc which is towards the animal pole. In this uh, point, uh, there are very important things to remember. What uh, the blastodisc or the germinal disc, it is the same thing. This is the point uh, at which all the divisions will be uh, occur in uh, after further development and from this point the uh, tissues and organs will be generated right and uh, because this division occurs at uh, the blastodisc which is present towards the animal pole what is animal pole i will explain you in the diagram of the egg so that you can understand it easily this is the diagram from your book this is diagrammatical uh, section of a hen's egg. You can see here. This diagram is very important. Uh, it always uh, comes in your exams. And uh, you have to label it. Sometimes you need to draw it also. So I will explain you in the manner that you can easily learn the labeling and how you will draw it. So uh, just try to uh, remember it in the way that i am explaining and draw it in the in this manner that um, you will uh, learn it very easily by this uh, method you can say so i will explain from uh, i will start from the outermost covering as you can see this uh, egg the outermost covering the first layer the outermost layer which is calcareous shell you have seen the egg normally we take it in our breakfast and you break that uh, shell to uh, make the omelet or whatever you uh, like to have in your breakfast so the out that outermost white shell that is calcareous shell so the first labeling or the first structure that you have uh, or you have to draw is the outermost layer which is calcareous shell then there is another layer you can see right here and this one too. So th there are further two more layers. The first one is outer shell membrane and the second one right here, this layer, which is covering whole uh, of the egg is the inner shell membrane, right? The outermost calcareous shell, then the outer shell membrane, then the inner shell membrane, this membrane, this membrane is inner shell membrane right now after all these um, discussion of the membranes now you see this uh, structure inside the inner shell membrane this uh, uh, substance which is present in the inner shell membrane is called as albumin or normally we call it egg white right this is albumin Right, and this is structure, the darker one, which is yellow in color normally, uh, you can observe it in your daily life. So this structure is the yolk. This uh, yolk con uh, is consist of white uh, patterns or lines in it also, but uh, usually we cannot find it uh, by our uh, normal observation, but they are present there. So uh, that's why it is uh, named right here, the yellow yolk and the darker one, then the, this white uh, lines or circles are the white yolk, right? So you have remembered the first calcareous shell, then outer shell membrane, then inner shell membrane, and what is the substance present inside the inner shell membrane is albumin. 
right albumin and um, then there is another structure in the uh, these membrane which is very uh, clear to see it is the yolk right this yolk is also uh, covered by a membrane which is called as vitelline membrane vitelline membrane covers it always comes in your mcq so uh, do remember it vitelline is the membrane which covers the yolk right and the inner shell membrane is the membrane which covers the albumin right in uh, right here you can see the blasto disc which we have discussed in the previous slide the germinal disc or the blasto disc where all the uh, mitotic divisions will uh, occur which will form the three germinal layers and further tissues and organs right all of this happens right here ओके हम पहुंचे थे ऑन दिस स्पॉट व्हिच इज एक्टिव साइटोप्लाज्म और द जर्मिनल डिस्क वेयर ऑल द सेल डिवीजन विल अकर ओके दिस इज द एनिमल पोल दिस रीजन द अपर रीजन इज एनिमल पोल एंड दिस लोअर रीजन इज कॉल्ड एज वेजिटल पोल because the uh, formation of the germinal layers tissues and organs uh, occur right here that's why it is called as animal pole and this region it is it is very um, uh, slow division occurs right here very so, slow cell division and this area is utilized as the um, um, food or nutrient for the this cell while it is undergoing the development that's why it is called as vegetal pole right vegetative part now there is another structure here you can see on both sides of the yolk which is called as chelaza this is uh, this arises as a single fiber from the yolk right here single fiber and it extend towards the opposite side of the egg right here and on the other side also but because of the movement of the cell during the development this uh, fiber coils again and again and forms a rope like structure as you can see in this diagram right this chelaza basically uh, helps in Uh, keeping the yolk at the center of the egg i hope you have understood this uh, diagram uh, with the labeling and the structures now after uh, the study of the egg what will happen the fertilization will start and what is fertilization the process of fusion of sperm and ovum to form a single diploid cell that single diploid cell is called as zygote remember the uh, uh, cell which we get after the process of fertilization is called as zygote fertilization in uh, birds or hen is always internal as we have discussed that the uh, egg is uh, uh, released from the ovary in as secondary oocyte so this secondary oocyte uh, needs to undergo the second maturation division so that it can become a mature ovum and during this division maturation division two polar bodies will also form which you know that it uh, degenerates later on it is a normal uh, process right uh, you have studied in the reproduction methods of the reproduction now this fertilized ovum will be covered by albumin outside um, uh, of it, it it will be vitelline membranes before reaching the oviduct right so the covering will be start to form uh, before this fertilized ovum will reach the oviduct okay outside this albumin there will be the shell membranes that we have discussed in the diagram also the outer shell membrane and inner shell membrane and the outermost calcareous shell this fertilized egg is laid uh, 24 hours after the fertilization happens now after the fertilization that fertilized egg needs to uh, incubate 
what is incubation incubation is simply the process in which uh, this uh, fertilized egg egg will uh, capped at a temperature that is 30 degree 36 degrees centigrade to 38 degrees centigrade it should be maintained between 36 degrees centigrade to 38 degrees centigrade so that the further development can be start in that fertilized egg this temperature can be obtained naturally by the mother hen or artificially in the incubators that is the normal practice in the poultry farms right at this temperature the complete development of the chick will happen and uh, the all the steps of the development of a chick and the hatching also um, uh, will occur on this uh, temperature which is maintained during the incubation period and after the incubation period and development uh, which all normally takes place in 21 days the egg will hatch